Welcome everybody to the European launch of Earth Overshoot Day. Earth Overshoot Day will be on August 22nd. I'm Matthias Wackernagel with Global Footprint Network and it's an honor to have you all here. And I would like just to start to thank the Club of Rome for co-hosting this event and particularly Laura and Till who did enormous work to bring everybody together as a member of the Club of Rome myself and particularly honored to do this launch together. Uh, and we'll have Sandrine Dixon de Cleve, co-president of Club of Rome, who will moderate and also use this occasion together with Johan Rockstrom to launch the second edition of the uh, Planetary Emergency Plan. So thank you so much for joining. Before we start, let me give you just some context. We say Earth Overshoot Day. That's what's that? That's from January 1st to, to August 22nd. Humanity has used as much as Earth can renew in the entire year. And how do we know that? Pretty simply, we look at all the human demands that compete for the ecologically productive spaces of the planet, for food, for fiber, for energy to accommodate our houses and our roads, to absorb CO2 emissions, etc. That all competes for space. And then we can compare that space with how much is available on the planet. About a quarter of the surface of the planet is ecologically productive. And on a per capita basis, that means about 12.3 billion hectares of ecologically productive space on our planet. And so per person, currently about 1.6 hectares of ecologically productive space. If we compare that with our use today and add up all the uses, it's bigger by 2.5 global hectares per person. How can it be that it's bigger? It's like with money, we can spend more than what we earn, but not forever. And so we can translate that and we can translate it into number of planets that we use. Because if you use 1.6 fold or 60% faster what Earth can renew, it's like using 1.6 Earth. And then we can translate that number, this number and say, by when in the year, if you use 60% more rapidly the resources, by when in the year have you used the entire budget for the year? And it turns out to be August 22nd this year. And that's what we call Earth Overshoot Day. And the main message is not just Earth Overshoot Day, but rather that we can move the date. And by moving the date, we are moving ourselves in a more secure and safe position. If you look at the trends over time, the green part shows how much of the year has been covered by regeneration. And the red part is how much it comes from depletion. And we just see in the last year because of COVID, the part that is covered by regeneration is higher. We reduced the overall demand by about 10%. And that would delayed Earth Overshoot Day this year compared to last year, about three weeks. Now, it's not something to celebrate because that comes with some suffering. It's not done by design, it's done by disaster. And that's why we need good plans to move forward. And I, th and I think the uh, planetary emergency plan that we're being uh, being discussing here is exactly what's needed to move the date. Now, they use a better word than just saying move the date. They call it emergence from emergency and recognize also the embedment em that is embedded also in political and social systems. But before we do the launch, I would love to welcome also the uh, little message that we got from our friends at WWF, Pavan Sukdev and uh, Marco Lambertini, who sent us a little message. Can we play the message? <laughs> 